Hi everyone, I'm Temi from DG Solar and today I will be taking you through how to connect your grower dongle to your grower monitoring app. This video is very useful if your inverter has lost connection with the Shine Phone app, maybe because you've just changed your Wi Fi. Okay, I'll get straight to it. If you don't have the Shine Phone monitoring app already, then you can download it for free from the App Store or the Play Store. Once the app is downloaded and opened, you can either sign in if you have an account already or register to create one. You have to enter your details as requested on the screen if you're registering. If you have an installer code, input the installer code in the installer code section. The next page will ask you to input your plant details, including the plant name of your choosing, selecting the installation date, the plant address, the PV capacity in what so if you have a 5 kilowatt system simply put 5000 watts select your plant type and you could also add a picture if you want but that is not compulsory select yes to move on the screen will ask you to scan the QR code of the dongle which will be in front of the dongle you're trying to connect you can also enter the dongle serial number manually by selecting manual if the barcode is accepted the next screen will give you two options to configure the data logger the standard mode and the hotspot mode if you have an account already or you are already signed into the app and you just like to reconfigure the connection maybe because you have changed your Wi-Fi and you lost your connection simply go to your plant by selecting plant Select the plot sign on the top right of the screen. You will get four options, plant management, add data logger, data logger list, and optimizer. Select add data logger if you haven't scanned your data logger already, or select data logger list to view your data logger list. On data logger list, you should see the serial number of the data logger if you have already added one previously. As you can see, the data logger status is now offline. Select the data logger you would like to reconfigure. You will get three options. Edit data logger, delete data logger, and configure data logger. To configure, select configure data logger. The standard mode is very straightforward. To configure using the standard mode, you have to make sure your dongle is flashing red. If it's not, then you have to press the button located under the dongle or on the side where it says key. Once the dongle is flashing red, then you can continue configuring on the app. The app will ask you to connect your phone to the router. Press next, click go to set to select your Wi-Fi if it's not already in the box. Press next, then enter your Wi-Fi password to configure. You must know there can't be any characters in your password and your Wi-Fi also has to be 2.4 GHz or else it might not connect. Once you have put in your Wi-Fi password, select configure immediately. The configuration will begin and once it's fully configured, it will, it will tell you if configuration is successful or if it failed. If configuration is successful, then you can return to the power station where the shine phone will start to display the data from your inverter. As you can see, the data logger status has now gone from offline to online. And as you can see on the plant page, you can now see the inverter data and the dongle should show a flashing blue LED to show a successful configuration. If the configuration fails, you can attempt to reconnect the dongle again via the standard mode or you can try the hotspot method, which there is a full tutorial over on our YouTube channel. The data logger should configure the first time if everything is correct, including having no special characters in your password, making sure your Wi-Fi frequency is 2.4 GHz, and making sure the dongle is flashing red. You might have to press the button on the dongle a couple of times to get it to flash red, but as long as it's flashing red, you can use the standard mode. So that's it for me for today. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to visit dgsolar.co.uk for more information. This has been Tech with Temi. Happy generating.